Tonight, an arrest has been made in a wild shooting following a car crash in Pompano Beach. And a surveillance video just released showing that gunman on the run with his two young kids in tow. Now, it all started after that gunman collided with another car overnight. Things got heated, and Local 10's Roy Ramos tells us what happened next. That crash happening right here at this intersection. And just moments after those two cars collided with one another, one of the drivers gets out, grabs a gun, and begins shooting. Even more shocking, deputies say that gunman had two children with him at the time he pulled the trigger. Two cars with severe damage sat in the intersection of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Northwest 27th Avenue after crashing into one another early Friday. Broward Sheriff deputies said it was just after 12 a.m. they received reports of the wreck followed by shots fired. In an accident and the guy pulled the gun out, shot at me, shot the car up and took off running. When deputies arrived, a close look revealed bullet holes in one of the cars. Lafayette Howard told us he and his cousin were in this blue Ford Fusion when they were hit by a black 2015 Audi. Investigators said failed to yield the right of way. Howard said moments after the crash, the driver who hit him, who we have learned is 32-year-old Ricardo Joseph, got out of his vehicle, grabbed his gun, and began shooting. And we see that he hit us, and he was like, you hit us, and somebody's going to pay. And he Went to his trunk, got a gun, and when I turned around and seen he had a gun, I turned around and he fired a couple of shots, and he went over by the car and shot our car. Even more shocking, Howard said kids were in the car with him. About how old do you think the kids are? Three or four. I was able to obtain this piece of surveillance video from a nearby business that shows who deputies said is Joseph, leaving the scene of the crash with two small children. While he attempted to get away, it wouldn't take long for deputies to track him down and haul him off to jail. Joseph does remain in the Broward County Jail, facing a number of charges that include aggravated assault with a deadly weapon to child neglect. As for those children, well, Child Protective Services is now investigating. For now, here in Pompano Beach, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Roy, thanks a lot.